The pandemic changed the game for remote work, even for U.S. government agencies. Earlier this year, the U.S. Government Accountability Office found 17 out of 24 government agencies had their buildings at 25% capacity or less. Did you know this costs a lot of money? Government agencies are shelling out $5 billion every year to lease those buildings and another $2 billion to annually maintain them. Lawmakers have spoken up about this. In fact, the White House Chief of Staff did send out an email stating it was one of the president's priorities to get federal workers back into the office. And Republican members of Congress in both the House and Senate have introduced a bill called the Show Up Act to force government workers back into the office. I'm Connor McIntyre. We did a fact check on this. And if you want to learn more about what's going on with remote work in the federal and private sector, head on over to our website, thenationaldesk.com.